Hello Kids Jam, Miss Casey here. I'm going to be doing a devotion on the story of Ruth and Naomi. I know that Miss Kelly told you the story of Ruth and Naomi. And I'm just going to let you know, Ruth and Naomi is probably my favorite story in the Bible for many reasons. Um, for one, it's a story about a mother-in-law and her daughter-in-law, which I find a very special. And so I'm just gonna kind of get into it. I'm kind of just going off what Miss Kelly said about Ruth and Naomi. So the story of Ruth and Naomi, what does it mean? What can we learn from it? Well, we know that God is faithful. As Proverbs 3, 5 says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. So bad things happen to Naomi in the story. So hunger forces her and her family from their home. They have to move to a new place. Um, her, both her sons get married, but then her husband and her sons they all die. So she probably she probably is feeling very sad and alone at this point in her life. But God blessed her with a dedicated daughter-in-law. You name it. Yep, her name was Ruth. Ruth said, where you go, I will go. Your people will be my people and your God will be my God. Basically, Ruth said, I am here to love and support you no matter what, just like God supports us no matter what. Naomi and Ruth return to Naomi's original home. Can you guess what that is? That's right, it's Bethlehem. They didn't know it, but God was taking care of them. He knew that their hearts were sad due to the deaths of their husbands, and God knew that life was going to be hard for them. So he prepared a new way for them. As the story goes, Ruth began collecting grain in the field, and a man named Boaz, who happened to be a relative of Naomi's, God knew that Boaz had a good heart and would take care of Naomi and Ruth. Boaz and Ruth got married and blessed them with a son. Even when things seemed bad, God never let Naomi and Ruth. He never left them. So we should help those in need, even if it's making sacrifices. This is another lesson that we can learn from the story of Ruth and Naomi. Acts 20, 35 says, in everything I did, I showed you that by this kind of hard work, we must help the weak, remembering the words the Lord Jesus himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Oh, what does that mean? So after Naomi's husband and sons died, she learned that hunger in her homeland was over. She decided to move back home, but knew as a widow with no children, she was destined to be poor. Knowing life would be hard, she told her daughter-in-laws just to go back to their families. One daughter-in-law, she did go back, but Ruth decided to stay with Naomi, even though it meant leaving her family and homeland. Ruth was risking her future to take care of Naomi. This was an incredible act of devotion. Ruth was giving up her family and customs to help Naomi. Once in Bethlehem, Ruth worked gathering grain to support both her and Naomi. Gathering grain was hard work and very little reward. They didn't get much money for this. We have opportunities all of the time to help others, but most require sacrifices or money, time or even comfort sometimes. We should follow Ruth's example of sacrificing to help others. Remember, God sacrificed his own son Jesus to save us. God is faithful to us. He loves us unconditionally, even sacrificed his son, Jesus, to save us. We should love and support each other without expecting something in return. I hope you guys have a great week, and I will see you next Sunday. Bye.